I'm Laura, one of the instructors here at Lori's Country Cottage. I'm going to be showing you some pens and pencils that help in the accuracy of your quilting projects. The first item I want to show you is called Miracle Chalk Quick Swipe Pad. This is perfect for marking your quilts for your free motion quilting. Inside, it contains powder, which is referred to as pounce. And all you do is you fill it up, you shake it to get the stuff down, you take it and you swipe it onto your fabric. And then you have the outline of your stencil. Now this particular one, it is iron off. So once you're done, you can take your iron and iron it off. It likes steam. Now, if you don't want it to disappear anytime soon, or you're not going to work on it soon, you might want to fill it up with the do not iron off pounce. And it, you can tell the difference by the color. It's a lighter blue. The next item for marking your quilts are heirloom pens. They come in two types. There's the blue one, which is a wash away. And then there's the purple one that is a fade away. Now, if you want your marks to last a long time, you would use the blue one. The purple one, once you've marked it, between 12 and 24 hours later, the lines will disappear. I discovered that the hard way by marking some 100 blocks with a line, and then I went to bed. When I came back to use it the next day, it was all gone. So I had to do the 100 blocks all over again. They're very fine point, and I quite like them for marking blocks. So those ones are heirloom. My next pencil that I'm going to show you, these ones are my favorite, and I have a few of them around the, my sewing room. In one pen, I will have a gray um, lead, and it's great for light colored products. And then the other one I have is uh, with a white lead in it. And I use that for marking the darker, um, darker fabrics that wouldn't show the gray on it. And like I say, I've had a few of them. You can get them in a Fonz and Porter, Porter brand or the Boehm um, brand. You can also buy uh, lead refills. As you can see in the Fonz and Porter one, there's a package that comes with it. The same happens with the Bowen. And then we do have packages of just the refills when you need them. Also with these pens, you have to remove the marks by erasing it. And also what I should have said is that the leads are interchangeable. So the Fonz and Porter lead will fit the Bowen pencil and, the, and vice versa. This is the Ultra Premium Taylor's Chalk from Taylor Seville. This product has been around for a very long time. Seat mistresses and tailors have used it for marking um, their projects. It does a very nice line. And with this particular one, it has a carrying case so that you can take it with you as you go. It also on the back has a, sh a rasp so that you could sharpen your chalk to a finer point. This chalk does not iron out. If you iron it, it becomes permanent. You must launder your fabrics afterwards in order to remove the chalk marks. This silver pencil by Heirloom has been around for a number of years and has been a favorite of quilters and sewers alike. This is a um, permanent marker. It can only be removed by um, laundering your project. However, it, it does can be sharpened to a fine point and will mark nicely on most fabrics. Um, of course, might be a problem on gray fabrics, but all other fabrics, it should mark well. These are three of my favorite pens. There are the friction pen, the original, that comes with a cap. It is seven millimeter nib on it. Then there's the clicker that uh, is a five millimeter nib on it. And then there is the felt. This is the newest one um, that's out by friction. The lines that they draw are really nice. I like this one, especially for drawing on my stabilizers for my machine embroidery. 
The clicker is nice because you don't lose the cap in your room anywhere like you do on the original one. Also, with each pen, you can erase it by using the eraser on the end here, and you just rub your fabric and it will um, go away from your um, project. Or you can just take the iron and erase them all. These are not meant for legal documents, so don't sign anything with it. Also too, prior to laundering your quilt or your sewing project, if it's extremely cold, the lines will show back up on the quilt. Don't panic, just iron it again and then launder so that the lines will be gone completely. Another marking tool is the Clover um, Rotary. It comes in various colors, including yellow. Now with those ones, uh, when you mark a, a piece of fabric, they are not ironed off and you need to take a um, piece of batting and rub it to make it come out of the um, fibers. Um, but what I've done with this marker once it was emptied is I filled it with pounce iron off um, powder and so that I get my nice sharp line. And when it is done, I'm done with it, I just iron it off and it's gone from my project. You can do this with other clover markers that have the wheel in it. Um, this is the one I chose because I have had it in my sewing room for a long time. The last item I'm going to show you is called the Chubby Crayon Fabric Marker. It is a really um, nice pencil. It can be sharpened down to whatever uh, point you want. It marks all fabrics quite nicely. It will stay there. Um, as it's formulated for fabrics. You can mark it um, on all your quilts that you're going to quilt. And once you are done, all you have to do is iron it away. It's quick, it's easy, and um, one of the better pencils I've seen out there. I've shown you a number of tools and their uses. I hope this helps you make your decision on a perfect tool to keep your project spot on. Thank you.